today is day six, and we're in Naples, Italy, and you're oh. not going to believe the lemons. Oh, my God. The lemons were huge. Not exaggerating. Um, anyway, we saw huge lemons. I had custom sandals made in less than 10 minutes. Um, this was a place full of a lot of surprises. Yeah. And one really good boy that got a lot of pets from us. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Kelly. And we're JK, JK Cruising. Cruising. Yeah, and uh, we'll say Naples, but really where we were at was in Capri. So we took a ferry over to Capri where we had all these lemon drinks made and <sighs> um, Kelly had her sandals made there at a custom sandal shop and we just had a lot of fun over in Capri. It's pretty pricey over there. Yes. Um, but it was a lot of fun. So the tour guide led us through winding streets, immaculate gardens, uh, and led us up to one of the best places ever to take pictures. Um, after that, we had free time for about an hour or so. So we stopped by this little custom shoe shop. Uh, they're not cheap, but we had to watch him make them, and it was in less than 10 minutes. Yeah. His grandfather started the business in 1951 in the same location he's at today. So Three generations of yep. sandal and shoe making there. Yeah, and you choose whatever kind of bottom you want, whatever kind of, you know, uh, what do you call the little straps on them? Ribbons or, or yeah, whatever you want. Sandal straps. <laughs> yeah, uh, you just choose whatever, and then he puts it together in less than 10 minutes. So, yeah. um, and I have to say, they're very comfy. Um, but they, he will want you to get them a little bit smaller because they do stretch. So after that, we met up with the group. We took a cable car down the mountain to the bottom and got on another ferry. Sorrento was our next stop. It was a nice long drive, which gave us a chance to recharge. The tour guide led us to where we would meet in an hour or so, and they gave us free time to shop. Um, we wanted a quick snack, and we found a little cafe that was more than willing to help with our tight, tight schedule. Um, we had a caprese salad and a couple of drinks, and it was just enough of a snack to help us get to the next town. Um, and it was so good. After that, uh, when we were walking back to the bus, we saw a 15 year old German shepherd and it was just hanging out at the corner with its owner. Uh, he was beautiful and he loved the attention. He was so laid back. We had such a good time petting him. Yeah. Uh, but it was funny. He was just laying there watching the people like he had nothing else to do. <laughs> so, he probably didn't have anything else to do. Nope. So we these have, streets, by the way, you guys in Capri they are super tight. Are super tight, like two vehicles trying to pass one another, probably isn't going to work. Yeah, very well. And you get to a point where the pedestrians in the traffic are all just sort of moving together. Together, yeah. Um, so yeah, you got to be really careful there. So you know, watch yourself. You know, be careful mm -hmm. as you're walking on the street. By the way, there's a lot of elevation change again at this in this area. So. You need to be prepared to walk up and down these hills and mountains yeah. uh, because you are on the side of a coastline and there's a bunch of switchbacks yeah. kind of thing. So you're going to have to do that um, to get down to where you're trying to go. So to. we had a breathtaking drive back to the Amal yeah. Amalfi Coast after that. And we headed back to the ship by ferry. We could see a huge volcano on the ride back uh, and we've, in fact, we talked to one couple at dinner that chose that excursion where they explored the volcano ruins and it... It didn't dawn on us that it was Pompeii. Yeah. I mean... If, I mean, hello. If we had known, we would have chose that excursion, yeah. but... I think it was booked already anyway. I think it was one of the ones that... But we got to see the Amalfi yeah. Coast and Capri yeah. and Naples and I mean... We had a really good time. I don't think yeah. you could choose an excursion that was bad there, but... No. Um, but if you like history and you like to understand more about, you know, sort of what happened, they're mm. still uncovering um, the city beneath the ash yeah. there. Um, so, like, they're still digging it out every single day. Yeah. Even today, they're still doing that. So, they and, and they're nowhere near done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even if you go on this trip in another couple of years, if you go to the Naples... Um, uh, location then you'll want to see if you can if you're interested in that you'll want to go and 
and probably spend some time in Pompeii. We'll definitely yeah. go back. Definitely um, do for, that one next Pompeii, time. Yep. The next time we go that way. So. so the very talented Savannah Smith was the entertainment tonight. <laughs> would be complete without this next diva. Chain, chain, chain. that we went to Normandy again for supper um, and it was just as good the second night oh my gosh I mean yeah again don't don't worry about if you don't have reservations just go to the place that you want to go to and they'll work you in yeah um, and you so. can look at every restaurant on the app and see the menu for the night because they do have some selections that change and then some that stay the same right um, but we ended up canceling our reservations for all the rest of the nights that we had made and just go into the restaurant that we wanted to that night and just walking up because you get in so quick. Yep. Um, and by the way, there, there's really no rule about this. Um, so like you, whatever you book is where they expect you to go, but you can go to any of them yeah. and they're more than willing to accommodate you and work you in. Yes. Um, and like working you in, like for us, most times it was less than five minutes. Oh yeah. Day six was just breathtaking. I mean, it was, there is something about the Italian coastline. Um, it was just. Yeah, that Amalfi Coast, I'm telling you, is everything and more that what you see on the internet. Uh, like yeah. the pictures don't do it justice. You no. don't get the, the sense of the grandeur of it without going mm -hmm. there and actually seeing it. I mean, you see all the different colored houses that are nestled together right by the ocean inside of these little, you know, port areas and stuff. But you really don't get a sense of what, how big this really is and how sort of special this whole area is and without to, and, going and yeah. sitting there in front of it and maybe just taking an Feels espresso in. Feels like you're walking in, in history. Yeah. yeah, take an espresso in or take your favorite coffee in or whatever the case may be. And, you know, if you're in Italy, do as the Italians do, you know, have an espresso or something like that. But um, me, I had an Americano there, so sorry. <laughs> um, but, um, but, yeah, that's a really, a really cool um, little place. Yep, yeah, we really had a great that. time in Italy. We will yeah. definitely go back. Get out there. Go cruising. Have fun. Remember, like, and subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.